What's up everyone, welcome back to WX Garage. Today's video, um, I'm doing two different installs actually. It's actually gonna be, uh, they're both at around the same area of the car. Uh, so I decided to kind of mix them together. Um, before any of you guys go down to the comments, yes, the stash is back. Who knows for how long, we'll see. Uh, I don't know, I like rocking it. Anyways, um, let's get into what we're gonna be doing today. So um, one of these I've held on to for quite some time because I was a little intimidated by the install because it does require you to drop your headers. Um, but after inspecting under the car uh, recently, I think I actually have the upgraded uh, header studs and bolts because they don't look like they're OEM. So I guess I'm discovering more and more. I think the last owner must have done headers then. So good to know. Um, but yeah, let's get into what uh, these two parts are. So first off, we have a product from Perrin that they were kind enough to send out to us, which is awesome. We have the turbo support brackets. So these are, I believe, CNC super, super strong brackets that help mount your, um, they essentially help strengthen the connection between your uh, J-pipe and your turbo. Um, so if you are running a aftermarket J-pipe or a stock one, um, this helps with keeping that connection more rigid. Um, and it also, the other nice part about it is that um, they are slightly slotted, which means if you're having trouble getting the, the J-pipe bracket back in, um, these help with um, allowing a little bit more play in that connection. So instead of pulling on the bracket or the turbo being pulled in one direction, because sometimes it just naturally changes where it is in the engine bay um, just over time. So these allow for a little bit more correction and uh, a stronger connection between those. So we're gonna be installing that. The other cool thing we're gonna be installing today is from our buddies over at Faction Fab. And they sent over a Faction Fab turbo blanket. Now this thing is absolutely awesome. So let's just look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. And it does come with the safety wire, which is cool. Um, so we're gonna be able to do that. So the car is already up. Uh, what I did was to maximize the ease of installation. Um, I did go for a drive around some errands, got up to full temperature earlier today. And um, what I did was go under. So I lifted the car and I went under and I already sprayed pretty much all the bolts that I'm gonna need to remove today with PB Blaster. Um, this is something that you guys should do anytime you are messing with any of your uh, bolts on your header, your J-pipe. Um, I'm gonna be pulling the turbo sump as well. Um, hit the car or hit the bolts with PB Blaster um, while it's warm. This is gonna help pen with that penetrating fluid to get in there, um, help loosen everything up. Um, just gonna make your life a lot easier. Uh, and then you can just let it sit there for a little bit of time. Um, so I just kind of let it cool off. Everything is still a little warm, but um, it's been sitting with the PB Blaster for maybe an hour or two. Um, and that's gonna give you guys the best chances for not breaking anything. Cool. So um, let's get into it. Uh, first thing we're gonna be doing is pulling this J-pipe off and then we'll go from there. A uh, couple quick updates. Um, we got the J-pipe off. Here's our awesome Grimspeed 
um, gasket. So uh, next step, uh, we're going to be removing um, or partially removing the header. Uh, one thing I forgot to show you guys, um, both of these kits, both the Perrin and the Faction Fab, um, they have these amazing detailed instructions. Um, huge props to these, both of these guys. Um, that's the Faction Fab one. And then the Perrin one came with it also. So these are all super, super in-depth detailed instructions that I wish a lot of companies did. Um, so huge shout out to Perrin and Faction Fab for, um, for these. Okay, so back up to the table. So we are going to be preparing the turbo blanket now. Two equal length pieces, okay. So essentially when it's on the turbo, it's gonna be going around like this, connecting around like that. So this one, I think I did much, much better. It looks really clean. Perfect. So now let's get this onto the car. The Faction Fab Turbo Blanket is on. Um, I don't have these, um, it's, it's, it's tightened down. Ooh, here we go, it's tightened down. Um, I just need to fasten these a little bit more, do what the instructions say, which is just wrap five times around um, those posts and then clip off the ends. Um, yeah, this is a, it was actually not as hard to install as I thought it was going to be, but um, difficulty level, guys, it is, um, if you don't know what you're doing with the header bolts and things like that, and you don't have the car lifted up pretty well, it's gonna be kind of difficult. But overall, I actually, it, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, so that's good. Um, what's unfortunate about this kit is that I do have to put this, this heat shield back over this, so it does cover it up a little bit, um, which I'm kind of sad about because look how pretty this thing is. I am so excited to uh, see the difference here. So um, yeah, let me get that wrapped up. I'll do another time lapse here. Um, for those of you, uh, just a couple tips and tricks here. Um, one thing that I did was I actually removed that heat shield um, so I, it gives me a little bit more room up here and I drop the header as you can see it's pretty far off the studs here just give yourself more room in the back to move around and to get those wires out and underneath coming up from the other side to tighten it down so now that we're at this stage now I can show you guys what these parent turbo brackets actually are doing so obviously this one is going to be replacing that right there. 
And then this little guy is going to be replacing the, uh, the stud right there. So the issue that a lot of people have is with this stock bracket. Um, one, it's old and nasty. Uh, two, the threads on this foul up really often. And three, it doesn't have any adjustability. So if you change to a different turbo, a different J-pipe, both of these have slightly adjustable slots to allow the bolt to move back and forth and the entire assembly to move a little bit back and forth. So uh, it allows for the entire um, setup to be a little more adjustable um, while retaining probably more strength than the stock one. And I am sure that this little threaded piece here is actually going to be way less likely to corrode than the stock gross one, which already I had a hard time getting the bolt out of. So, cool. These are, these are awesome. So. so what I did here actually was just mock up these two uh, brackets, just so you guys can see. Um, I actually used that for the thumbnail, but um, now that this is on, um, pretty much the only last step to do is bolt everything back up the way it came. Um, once we get to the actual putting these uh, brackets on, we'll talk about that. Um, but basically reverse order, we're putting that heat shield back on, two nuts in the back to hold it in, uh, turbo sump comes back up, and then we just put the headers back on, J-pipe, and we're golden. So we've reached another point where I can show you what I'm doing. Um, it's time to put the um, Perrin turbo support brackets. There's one be gonna be going right here, and there's one gonna be going, whoops, right, right there, in the top right. So let me get those in there and show you guys what they look like installed. All right. So here I have the upper right one. Um, like I said before, what's great about these is, as you can see, there is that little bit of wiggle room. Obviously I haven't, I haven't tightened these down yet. Um, I just want to show you guys that this bracket can move left or right. And then same thing with this top left one. I can move this just a little bit extra. So if any of you guys are having that issue um, where your turbo um, or your, your aftermarket or whatever J pipe or your headers or the entire thing, if, if, if it's not fitting, this is going to be your solution. Um, so again, um, I wasn't having this problem, but um, I'm so happy that parents set this out to us because it is still an awesome product for, that we can show you guys. Um, and uh, the other good thing is that it is going to be sturdier and it is, it is anodized and it's gonna wear the elements uh, for the next, you know, how many, hopefully hundreds of miles, thousands of miles that I have left on this car. Um, with the with the other one, um, I was concerned that those threads were going to strip out at some point or corrode. So um, little tiny, tiny bit of anti-seize and that's what I have, or uh, yeah, anti-seize I have in there and uh, it's going to keep that nice and safe. So again, there's the parent brackets. And then unfortunately that beautiful uh, turbo heat shield, turbo blanket from Fashion Fab is now hidden underneath the stock, but it is in there, I promise. So, um, yeah, let me tighten everything down, get all of the skid tray and all the other stuff back in place, and uh, I'll talk to you guys once that's all done. So we got everything finished up. Uh, I'm really happy with everything carpet came out. Um, like I said before, Um, like I said before, I was actually really surprised with, um, it really wasn't that bad. Um, luckily I didn't have any stripped bolts. Um, everything kind of came out easy. So I understand if other people are doing this, you know, if they have a stuck bolt, that's where it really come, becomes a problem. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. The directions were really simple. They were great. Um, really quick, let me sit down here. Um, 
One thing I haven't talked about yet is, is what's the purpose of a turbo blanket? Um, and a lot of people kind of don't understand this. Uh, one thing people say is, oh, the turbo blanket helps keep the turbo cool. And it's actually the opposite. Um, the turbo blanket actually keeps the heat in the hot side of the turbo cool or hot. So really what it's doing is it's the same thing as me wrapping my uh, J-pipe. If you guys haven't seen that, um, I'll put it up in one of these corners here. Um, when you put a turbo blanket on, what you're doing is you're containing or you're, you're helping to contain the heat that the hot side of the turbo where all the ex exhaust gas flow through, you're trying to keep all that heat where it's supposed to be. With these engines, you know, the reason I want front mount instead of top mount, um, there's a lot of uh, reasons, but the issues with these, with these cars is a lot of times is heat soak. Um, ethanol helps with reducing uh, intake temps. Um, front mount intercooler, it's getting charged by, you know, fresh air coming from the front of the car. There's very, very low likelihood that's ever gonna get heat soaked. Um, and it's the same kind of idea for a turbo blanket where when you're installing one, you're trying to keep that heat from the exhaust gases flowing through the hot side from heat soaking the components around it. Which for me is there's coolant lines down there. Um, there's a bunch of different components on down there that you don't want to get overheated. Um, as for the, the turbo brackets, um, very, very helpful. Uh, like I said before, I personally didn't have that issue where it didn't line up, but I know a lot of people do. So uh, for those of you that have that issue, go buy the parent kit. It's super cheap. It's like 50 bucks um, and they're going to be a lot sturdier and uh, going to, you know, they're not going to oxidize and destroy themselves over time. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next couple of videos are going to be really, really cool. So make sure you guys stick around. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button um, and comment down below. Mustache, no mustache, stash, stash, no stash. Let me know. Cool. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.